let's let's do Jake's thoughts of the day. Who wants to start? Let's do it. I can start. Let's go. Go for let's it. Let's do it. Thought of the day. All right. Believe it or not, I was actually vice president of my middle school student government when I was in the seventh grade. But our president was assassinated, so I had to take <laughs> over. <laughs> and what a bitch that was. <laughs> oh, my God. There was a whole conspiracy, too. She did have some very polarizing stances, like removing peanut butter products from the middle school bake sale. A lot of people wanted her head for that one. The parents included. It could have been anyone. I did get a letter from Skippy, registered trademark, congratulating me on the new position, which was nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Got some dark shit happening. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Skippy Mafia. The funny part is that we know who that is about. <laughs> Unless you've completely made it up. Not about anybody. Is there oh, an actual okay. Skippy It's not mafia? in reference to a person with a peanut allergy from yeah, high school. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> I thought it was like literally, yeah. I'm like, oh, wow, you were, were you actually the vice president of I the student government? seventh grade, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is a true story. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it actually was. <laughs> tragic. The president was assassinated. <laughs> that's incredible. Real what do you got? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Did you hear? Big Sausage Pizza is suing hundreds of its current and former delivery drivers and customers for exchanging sexual favors for pizza. <laughs> the pizza chain filed for bankruptcy, bankruptcy only four months after opening its doors to the public in 2010. CEO Jeffrey Cream claims the company <laughs> <laughs> claims the company didn't receive a single dollar during the entire four months and admitted that exclusively hiring well endowed men and delivering solely to pornography film sets was his first mistake. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Jeffrey Cream. <laughs> Jeffrey Cream. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man. Oh no. Someone coming off a plane with their neck pillow still on is a bit strange. <clears throat> That's what I thought until I someone saw someone get off a plane yesterday with the airplane seat still stuck to their ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. That is the dumbest shit that has been read in a long time. <laughs> wow. This is what we're writing a book for. This is why. Oh, yes. This is, that's this is it, like Jake. one of those back of the toilet books. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. 100%. Of the day. Yes. By Jake. Oh, yeah. I love it. Okay, okay one more. Here. One more. Oh, God. What do we have? You can tell how frequently someone goes to Outback Steakhouse by how high their jeans are on their body. I once saw a man at Outback wearing his jeans so high he was looking through his zipper. <laughs> <laughs> See, the greatest, the, greatest, the greatest part about this is Jake is just over here dying. Just the visual of like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. That's my favorite oh, visual. My thing is, like, what did you see that triggered that <laughs> thought process? I have no idea. That reminds, that reminds me of when I grew up, um, the girls used to really pull their hair back really tight. And the joke was always, if you keep doing that, you're going to get a goatee soon. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> the they're pulling their hair so back and their skin's coming up. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. That took me a minute, but uh, oh. that's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah.